Hey everyone, uh, Damien Didovich here from Need to Demonator once more. Bring you a uh, 3 vs 3 Dawn of All Soulstorm replay on the map Alvaros. And uh, yeah, as you can see, we have the uh, bottom right team, which would be the uh, Sisters of Battle, Oops. Okay. <laughs> Necrons, and um, Space Marines versus the uh, Eldar, Dark Eldar, and Chaos. So it should be an interesting game indeed, to say the least. So we'll just have a look at it in build here, but very strange. Um, it looks like uh, this Chaos player started to make the Chaos Temple, but then stopped it to make a Plasma Generator. A bit of a, an odd move, to say the least. Um, it's not really an, an efficient way of uh, making buildings, and we'll just have a look at the build orders. So we're seeing pretty usual stuff for Sisters of Battle. We've got uh, missionaries coming out, and we've got a whole bunch of builders actually, so it should be interesting to see what they do with them. And uh, yeah, we've got uh, more Battle Sisters coming out, uh, doing it for themselves perhaps. Uh, as well. So, that's the Necrons, pretty usual build as well. So they're building um, plasma generators, they have a couple of Scarab squads and they're coming up with some early Necron warriors though. And as far as Space Marine player, they're going to tier 2 without a barracks even, so they've just got the armory down, which is pretty interesting to say at least again, because they're directly opposite the Elder. So the Elder, they're going for a bit more of a standard build, um, going for a bit of an early fast here though, as you can see, and uh, Banshee. So, we're going for a, a bit of a melee heavy build, and as for Dark Elder, yeah, it looks like they're going for a bit of a melee build as well with that arc on as well. So as for the Chaos <coughs> player, they're going for a uh, regular build after they did that rather strange thing with their uh, barracks build. So, so they have a bit of a uh, showdown happening between the uh, sisters doing it for themselves and the uh, Chaos Space Springs, who I suppose might be doing it for themselves as well. So looks like they're actually charging in with their building uh, with their builders and. Uh, an interesting ability of the builders is that they actually have a uh, demolition ability. So as you can see, they're about to use it, which means that this building is most likely go going to go down pretty quickly. There you go, it's just gone down. So interesting <laughs> tactics indeed. So one of the characters here is rather amused by what happened here, and they're building a uh, something rather inferno turret. So yeah, just there we go, turret building. This thing post has finally been upgraded for chaos, though. Don't know how much difference it'll make though once it's there. Merrick's building has uh, been destroyed, so they managed to kill off one builder, but uh, yeah, damage has already been done, as you can see. As for what's happening elsewhere in the map, uh, look to, we've got Howling Banshees reinforced from the Elder coming in to help, and not much happening from Dark Elder, though we do have... Ah, oh, there we go, the Fast Air coming out from the Elder as well. Ah, here we go, so Dark Elder sent out their uh, Archon and his little retinue of uh, Incubi to uh, damage, as you can see. Necrons are not doing much at the moment at all, so yeah, an interesting um, tactic to say the least. Uh, as for uh, <coughs> this is a battle, they should probably be retargeting uh, re that Inferno Tyrant. That's what I can do. And yeah, as you can see, the builder, builder ability just went down um, on the listing post, destroyed it, and also the plasma generator destroyed it almost, actually. Just got a, just a few hit points left. So this is a battle, um, letting themselves get torn up. Unfortunately, by the uh, Banshees, it looks like yeah, they're just trying to do as much damage as possible to the uh, Chaos player's base. As for the Space Room base, oh, okay, it looks like they went for early vehicles, so they'll be going for um, la a land speeder and I don't know, possibly other stuff as well. So yes, it's a very interesting um, inning to say the least. And yeah, it looks like uh, yeah, Dark Elder. And uh, Elder actually cleaning up the uh, Chaos Space Ring base. So yeah, it looks like the Sisters of Battle have been wiped out, but at the same time they did tremendous amounts of damage to the Chaos Space Ring's base, and of course um, their base is still in pretty good condition. So we haven't seen any other buildings go down by them, or, or troops. And yeah, finally seeing that land speed being brought out by the uh, Space Ring, still a bit of damage there. So yeah, a bit of a melee happening there, as you can see. Um, Necron Warriors aren't too shabby in melee, as you can see, um, they actually do a bit of uh, disruption damage. Um, or at least to regular troops, they will do disruption damage um, in melee, which is an uh, interesting thing to do. So yeah, unfortunately they're slowly getting uh, torn up. And it looks like uh, Dark Yolder has got the uh, stealth upgrade for their uh, Mandrakes as well. Just see what happens. 
elsewhere. It doesn't seem too much happening else, so yeah, it just seems to be uh, confined to the uh, cow space at the moment. So yeah, it's a very interesting beginning. A bit of a surprise really to see that uh, work so effectively. Although it's interesting when actually um, when I downloaded the game, it's, or rather the replay, should I say, it um, said that it was a uh, sister's builder rush, and I was wondering, uh, wasn't wondering what they meant by that. And yeah, <laughs> was when it started out, and I remember that yeah, they do have that uh, special ability. So it's funny it, you don't actually see that ability being used that often, but um, as you can see, when it, it is used, it can be used to uh, pretty good effect. So yeah, unfortunately, one of the land speeders you can see have just. Got them torn down, and it's about to get. Uh, this one's about to get destroyed as well. And so they move it, which is doing right now. So not too shabby, not too shabby. The sisters building more stuff, and don't, they don't appear to be at tier two or anything. So as the Necrons, they're not at tier two either. They're re rebuilding, or maybe they're just building right now. The Necron Lord. They do have the uh, summoning core of disruption field coming up. So soon, their warriors will be pretty, uh, pretty good to say the least. As for the space brains, yeah, we've just got a <coughs> complete focus on uh, vehicles at the moment. And I'm surprised that they're just coming up with land speeders. I don't think um, we've seen so far. They should probably try making some heavy units, such as the Hellfire Dreadnought or even the uh, proper Dreadnought, to help out with a bit of melee damage there. So, but in either case, um, Looks like the uh, elder player has sensed a bit of a weakness in the space room player with them going for early vehicles, and they're sending in a whole bunch of banshees to do a bit of damage to um, these land speeders. Interesting enough, they uh, managed to last quite a while, and the space room player is just continuing to build land speeders. Although, oh no, that's a chaos marine. Never mind. I thought they were the, that was a space marine squad for a second, but um, that was a chaos space marine squad. Very uh, traitorous indeed. So. So yeah, as you can see, I'm being uh, forced to retreat and getting torn up pretty badly as well. So, space so player doing a pretty good job with these um, land speeders. Going uh, early vehicles is a pretty big gamble, especially um, if you get rushed at the beginning. But um, yeah, as you can see with the uh, sister builder rush, um, it looks like it uh, kept the top left players pretty busy uh, while the space screen player got to take up. So not bad strategy at all. I don't know if they um, Discuss that strategy earlier on, or it just happened to happen. But um, yeah, in either case, it's not turning out too badly for those uh, space marine land speeders. So don't seem to ha ah, there we go. So we've got tier two for dark Eldon. As you can see, they got dark scourges with uh, dark lances, so they'll be able to uh, tear down those land speeders pretty quickly. Although they're going directly into the uh, dark Eldon base, pretty uh, ballsy move to say the least. Given that they're the ones that enter vehicle units, killing off a builder and doing a bit of damage to the uh, slave chamber at the same time. As chaos, they're not exactly recovering too quickly, although they have recaptured their uh, points from what I can say. Uh, they haven't rebuilt their barracks though for whatever reason, unless if they uh, maybe build. Ah, okay, there we go. So there's the barracks building. <coughs> yeah, we've got a bit of a. Piecemeal attack by um, Dark Elder, doing a bit of. Well, I wouldn't even say disruption, they're just going to get torn down. There's uh, Archon, the Archon and uh, his retinue. But, um, and yeah, it looks like the uh, Necron Lord teleported out just in time to be saved, although he does quite bit, have quite a bit of health left. So. You can see that was the uh, Storm Psychic Storm, I think. Yes, something like that. Um, that ability going down uh, by the. Uh, Farseer, so Farseer being able to do a bit of damage as well. Unfortunately, I'm not entirely sure what um, Dark Elder were thinking with that um, small attack. They lost a pretty expensive uh, command squad there, and uh, yeah, it looks like Battle Sisters are coming back with more builders for another go, so most likely um, <coughs> going to be trying the uh, Builder Rush again, because you, you normally don't see uh, more than two or three builders uh, coming out for a player, because it's just yeah, not really worth it. And, uh, well, it's interesting. Um, in the original Dawn of War, builders actually used to take up um, population caps, so you can build as many as you wanted. But um, yeah, every every builder you built um, basically meant you couldn't build, like, say, a scout marine squad or uh, half a space marine squad, for example. <coughs> but yeah, in um, Dawn of War Soulstorm, they changed that, so that's how you can build like um, I don't know about four builder units. At the 
or rather have four build units out at the same time and uh, not, not have them uh, take any population caps. So we finally got something a bit more um, solid coming out for the uh, Space Marines. Got a Hellfire Dreadnought doing quite a bit of disruption damage. So Hellfire Dreadnoughts, they get a pretty bad, um, well, a bit of a bad reputation, or rather, sorry, bad reputation uh, as a walker unit because, um, well, compared to, say, the regular Dreadnought, they're not... Uh, not as powerful, at least on paper, so to speak, but um, that disruption that they do uh, is pretty invaluable. And the missile launch is actually, um, it outranges regular, I'm pretty sure, yeah, re outranges regular rocket launches from uh, other races. So it's, it's a pretty um, pretty decent artillery unit, to say the least. Well, acts a bit like an artillery unit. And yeah, those missiles, as you can see, they did a pretty good job of uh, blowing the units around. But uh, this, unfortunately, um, Fire dragons that don't get um, <coughs> that don't get knocked knocked down, which actually makes them pretty effective as uh, anti vehicle units. And yeah, as you can see, they're making, going to make pretty short work of that uh, Hellfire Dreadnought. So we still have a counter attack happening by the uh, Necrons. They might be able to capture, or rather, to um, place these uh, Chaos Space Marines and uh, El Elder in a bit of a pinch movement. But um, have to see what happens. It's got a uh, solar pulse ability going down, as you can see. And we've also got um, a bit uh, a bit misplaced there, but we had a bit, a bit of a uh, orbital bombardment going down by the space marines as well, which means they're tier three and got orbital relay, and they got the commander units somewhere as well. I'm not entirely sure where, but there you go. They might have been killed off by now. <coughs> so yeah, dark, uh, or rather not dark, but. <laughs> Necron's done a pretty good job pushing back the uh, Space Marines, as you can see. And uh, yeah, as you can see, the Battle Sisters are uh, deciding to go with a bit more of a standard build as well, with um, regular Battle Sisters armed with uh, heavy bolters. So. Not too shabby, although the Space Marine base is getting slowly torn up, though. And yeah, as you can see, one of those Howling Banshees, uh, it seems to be the uh, bad time of the uh, month for them. But, uh, well, it's only a bit very bad time of the month for their enemies, because uh, they have to do all that damage. Yes, finally got Necrons uh, coming in to try to take out uh, the uh, remaining Elder and Dark Elder forces, although they're still being able to do quite a bit of damage, actually. I'm surprised that, uh, that um, Necrons and uh, Battle Sisters are taking their time to... well, taking so long to to get to the Space Marine base, but there you go. So yeah, finally I'm um, taking down the uh, Scourge... yeah, Scourge um, <coughs> squad, and yeah, also taking down... Uh, Squad of Fire Dragons, I think. And yeah, they'll be taking down the uh, Howling Banshees as well, but the Howling Banshees... No, they most likely won't be able to kill that armor, but they've certainly done quite a bit of damage. At the same time, Chaos Space Marine base has been just about rebuilt. I'm not entirely sure if they're Tier 2, though. Let's uh, hold the phone, though. We've got a couple of Dreadnoughts being dropped into the uh, Elder base, so doing a, yeah, not doing much damage, unfortunately. Um, the Wraith Lord and uh, Howling Banshees seem to make pretty short work of them. Yeah, Space Marine player's got a bit uh, bit to rebuild, actually, to say the least, and he certainly should repair that uh, armory. He's getting out a chaplain and a servitor, though, and yeah, he's slowly rebuilding the uh, orbital relay, so funnily enough, I'm pretty sure he should be able to, yeah, to build regular Space Marine squads in the uh, barracks building. Uh, not the barracks building, the orbital relay building, uh, instead of the barracks building. Although, I um, can't remember if you need a uh, barracks building to get the um, sergeants or not, I'm not entirely sure. And yeah, we've got the uh, builder ability going down, or at least trying to go down. Looks like um, the, ser the servitor got knocked down somehow. And yeah, there you go, so it looks like a Sisters of Battle deciding to um, yeah, go with that uh, builder rush again. So they got some more advanced troops out, they got a couple of Celestians, they got uh, quite a few Battle Sisters, and of course they have uh, the Canoness uh, who's doing it for herself, so to speak, uh, adding uh, to the damage. So. Servitor's actually building an Inferno turret, and... Okay, looks like, yeah, Celestians have been fully outfitted, except with their image, or however you call it, um, to do maximum uh, anti-vehicle, anti-building damage. So there goes the uh, listing post. We've got one more listing post left until they uh, start attacking the uh, HQ, though. It looks like the uh, Necrons are also joining in. 
Don't seem to be any... Uh, uh, okay, so yeah, it looks like the uh, Space Marine base is getting uh, torn down as well. <coughs> so yeah, it seems like we might actually get a bit of a base trade though, although um, luckily for Chaos, uh, they, they only have um, their HQ building there, it looks like. Uh, their barracks building is somewhere... can't quite seem to pinpoint it. Oh, there it is. It's being built again. Um, uh, Oh, okay, might have been destroyed by those dreadnoughts previously, though. <coughs> so yeah, unfortunately, yeah, Elder uh, are managing to destroy this uh, space room base in short order, to say the least. So you can see that Wraith Lord uh, even kicking the stronghold uh, attempt to uh, try to destroy. Although Necrons are slowly coming to the space room base, though, to uh, try to help out. So, yeah, one. Um, one thing you'd certainly want to do as um, Necrons in a team game is yeah, try to build plasma generators in uh, other players' bases, as in uh, your teammates' bases. Because that actually allows you to teleport all your units, um, just about all your units, uh, to that power plant building um, when, you're, when you get the, uh, what is it, the summoning, something or other, summoning core. So yeah, instead of them having to slowly walk over to the space room base, they could have just placed a uh, plasma generator maybe around, um, I don't know, behind. HQ, for example, and yeah, just teleported their troops in to do a uh, bit of damage. But in this case, it's not, the positioning isn't too bad. They're, they're able to catch um, Elder Play in a bit of a pincer movement, but yeah, unfortunately, uh, damage has certainly been done. So even though they're managing to kill off uh, a few, well, quite a few of their troops, um, yeah, I suppose this is not really going to be. Uh, Doing much to say the least, although they have rebuilt their chapel barracks. I'm not entirely sure if they have a servitor out. Uh, yep, they do. And they've even rebuilt a machine fac uh, rather a machine cult as well. So yeah, it looks like our space room base is going to fall as well. But uh, yeah, from what I can see, yeah, the bottom right team seems to have the advantage at the moment. They uh, certainly have the army advantage, and I wouldn't quite say they have the base advantage, although. Because our down one HQ though, and at the very least this Chaos Space Room player has that managed to, um, to keep that for now. Although that uh, might just change actually when we see this um, builder ability going down as you can see. So yeah, that uh, building loses quite a bit of health. Archon and his retinue trying to do a bit of damage. And that's quite a few infernal turrets, you don't usually see that many turrets going down in a single spot actually. So it looks like yeah, they're just trying to maybe... Uh, cover well, the uh, entrance to this particular base. Yeah, we've got Necrons marching, and it uh, looks like they got a uh, fully restored monolith out as well, so there you go. Looks like, uh, I don't know, looks like something out of Doctor Who, perhaps. <laughs> so yeah, it looks like the um, player is about to lose their HQ building. And yeah, it looks like Wow, they've let themselves be destroyed entirely, I think. So this Chaos player is out, and yeah, I'd say... I'd say that it's uh, pretty much game over for the top left team, unless if they can pull something out. Uh, I've actually seen um, that happen a couple of times, where it was uh, either a 3 versus 2 or a 2 versus 1, and somehow, somehow the remaining player manages to pull out a win. Uh, usually it uh, comes down to mounting a successful defence and still having a decent economy. And uh, yeah, then being able to um, yeah, well, to, to counter attack effectively, but uh, in this case, I don't think that's going to happen. So we're seeing a bit of a final battle, as you can see. So yeah, hopefully you've been watching this in 3D. Uh, I certainly have with these uh, rather cheap glasses, but um, yeah, it does look very nice actually with um, these 3D glasses on it. Uh, yeah, it certainly does add a, quite a bit of. Uh, depth to the action, especially when we zoom in like this, and yep, there you go, top left team has been defeated, so, yeah, not bad game, okay, not bad game, um, having the uh, Sisters of Battle go in with that, um, Builder Rush was certainly a pretty risky move, and it was especially risky to, um, have a Space Room player go to, uh, Tier 2, but, um, yeah, the, that rush ended up being pretty successful, I think it caught the enemy off guard really, and they just went in with an all-out assault like that at the beginning, especially with, uh, with builder units, and um, yeah, it certainly paid off in the end as you can see. So we'll be uploading this video, and um, a bit later on that is, 
And uh, who knows, maybe recording some more. So until that happens, this has been Damien Davidovich signing off.